right, what's going on guys? So I'm here at American Barbell. I'm here with the mountain dog himself, John Meadows. We're gonna be hitting a leg workout today. I'm gonna let John take it over and share all of his wonderful wisdom with us. Uh, you're not gonna kill me too too much today? No, no, man. I'm just old man cranking, remember that. Right? <laughs> so guys, if you're not aware, um, John is, in my opinion, one of the best coaches in the whole industry. We did a full interview together through Skype, um, and I said, I'm coming down to the Arnold Classic. Let's go hit a workout together. So that's what we're doing now today. And so what are we gonna kick it off with? We're gonna kick it off with some leg curls, maybe a little bit of leg extensions. The plan is to do some squatting today. So one of the things I've found through the years, uh, actually just by accident, was doing a leg curl seems to make a squat feel better. The movement pattern, it just feels better. It's one of those things, if you just try it, you'll know what I mean. And we'll probably do a little bit of leg extensions too, just to get everything warmed up. And then we're gonna hammer some safety bar squats. And we're gonna load some chains up on it, but, but we're gonna get everything kicked off with some really hard leg curls. The goal being to just get those hamstrings firing, a ton of blood in there kind of cushion our squat. So that's what we want to start today. Sweet, all right, let's get it. I'm gonna actually get into some gym clothes and we'll get started with some hamstring curls. So what's the idea here with the, the leg curl? What are, we, what are we doing over here? Well, we're gonna work our way up the stack. So we're just gonna take our time. Again, the idea is to get a lot of blood in our hams. Generally, I'm just trying to control the weight on the way down and I'm trying to squeeze on the way up. A lot of times people see my tempo because I, I really like to train explosively. Yeah. They'll think, okay, he looks like he's doing that really explosively. So it looks like he's just throwing the weight up. But I'm actually not. I'm actually just contracting the muscle real hard. Right. So it's just control and then be aggressive. Control, be aggressive. Okay. So gotcha. Gotcha. Um, that's kind of the general tempo. I don't really, do the number thing. Gotcha, yeah, me either. Um, in terms of like sets and reps, is there a target you're going for or are we just kind of warming up and going by feel? What we're gonna do is we're gonna work our way up slowly. So we'll have some volume, but there's only gonna be one set that's really, really difficult. Okay. So we'll have a set that we'll take beyond failure where we'll throw in some high intensity techniques, but only one of those, because that's, that's man, when you do that, that's all we're gonna need. Yeah. So yeah. we'll just work up to that. So you get a little bit more blood each set, a little bit more blood, nothing really to failure. But then once we get to that weight where it's, we're gonna be shooting for around eight reps. Okay. And then once we get up to where it's a really tough eight, that's when we kick in that really, really hard set. And that one set is, it's, it's enough, man. All right, let's get so. it. So that's it for the warm up pyramid sets. Now we're gonna jump into our main killer set. So John was just saying, we're gonna start here uh, with the cam on one. So this basically loads it evenly, kind of throughout the whole range of motion. So we're gonna go pretty much to failure here. Yep. Is that right? Yep. Then we're gonna drop it up to two. And this is gonna load the top half more. Yep. Yeah, so it'll make it a little bit easier to load the top half more. Then we're gonna drop the weight back, go to failure again. And then partials. And then we're gonna do partials. And then ISO hold. And then ISO hold, okay. <laughs> let's do it. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's go. Eight reps. Ugh. Eight reps. Come on. Ugh. One. Ugh. Come on, halfway. Five. Come on. Six, two more. One more. Okay, stay in there. Uh, okay. Stay in there. Okay, eight more. Uh, come on, you gotta go, go. Two, come on. Three, there we go, come on. Four, come on. Come on, three more. Two more, come on, go, go, go. One more time, one more time. There we go, okay, stay in there, stay in there. I got you. Okay, eight more. Eight more, there we go. One. Two, come on. There we go. Three. Halfway. Three more. Two more. One more. Okay, now little partials. Little partials right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now hold it. Now hold it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and good job. Good job. Good job. That was that was fun, man. Good. <laughs> see why we do one side of that? I see that. Good work, brother. Good work. That's harder than it looks. 
Yeah. <laughs> it just goes to show how much more you have in you than you, you think you do. Like if I was by myself, I probably would have stopped at six on the first set, honestly. Yeah, that's There's awesome. a, an ancient samurai maxim. Only when man stands on the brink of destruction does he truly realize his potential. You can handle a lot more than what you really think you're capable of. Yeah, yeah. So John, real quick, what, uh, what are we doing here? Uh, the same sort of thing as over with the hamstring curl or? We're gonna do the exact same thing. Okay, sounds good. That's it. All right, exact nice. same. Okay. Simple. One thing I actually just took away from that is normally I'll kind of just like passively sit back against the seat, yeah. but by actively coming forward, right. you can feel those hip flexors right. turn on, right? right? So you feel them engage so much more. I've literally, I've never ever tried that before. Take it but from that makes perfect head, sense. Baby. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, we just finished pyramiding up. So we did, I think four sets of like seven or eight reps, uh, just get the blood into the quads a little bit more. Now we're gonna hit our main crazy set. We're gonna do the same thing as we did on the leg curl. You wanna describe that Yeah, the one, so the one, one thing we're gonna do different on this. On the leg curl, remember we use the middle setting, which is kind of even, distribution now we're going to go to three which is going to make the beginning of the rep really hard so the very initial part you really have to fight to get the weight moving and then it'll wheeze up a little bit and then we're going to move it back to two so that the beginning is easier and we have some strength and we're going to load the top end of it it is really difficult on three because where you're weakest you have to fight 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 to get through the reps and then we'll do uh one drop and we'll do some partials and an ISO hold. Just for people, because these machines are hard to come by, these prime equipment, <clears throat> is there anything you'd recommend people do? Like maybe have a spotter kind of help at the top end or is there a way people could set it up or just kind of do the regular drop? Well, ideally you have a partner that can kind of help you. They can give you a little bit of resistance at the bottom and then kind of let up. Uh, if you wanted to switch it to make it easier at the bottom, they can kind of help you at the bottom. But basically you just have to have a weightlifting partner that knows when to help and when to make it. Yeah. Uh, make it harder. One of the things we do sometimes, we didn't do it today, but we do manual eccentric loading. So what I would do is I would lower the weight real slow. You know what? The heck with it. Let's do one of those. Okay. So my first eight reps, I want you to actually push down. And okay. I'm going to lower it under control. Okay. Okay. Now you want to talk about contractile tension. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is how you eccentrically destroy a muscle. Okay, so the first eight, push down, and then I'll take over from there. Okay. I got you. This is going to hurt. <laughs> I know what I'm in for here. Okay, let's go. Let's go, John. Let's go. Two more. Let's go. Resist it, let's go. One more. Another eight. Let's go. Four. Come on, five, six, let's go. Two more. One more. Nice. Finish it strong, let's go. Three, four, come on. Six, two more, one more. Okay, partials, I'm not done yet. Okay, eight more. Come on. Five, six, okay, hold. Come on. Okay. Nice. First aid, I want to push down and I want you to resist. You don't have to resist with full strength. Just keep it coming down slow. Okay. Here we go. There we go, right there. Right there. A little bit more resistance, come on. That's it, that's it, right there. Two more. One more. Okay. All right, change the can. Woo. Okay. Eight more. Now just crank out eight. 
Come on. Ugh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Two. Come on. Three. Come on. Four. Come on. Five. Three more. Six. Come on. Ugh. Seven. Okay, stand up for a second. Okay, eight. Here we go, come on. Hey, here we go, come on, baby. Come on, go, go, let's go. Two, three, four, five, there we go, come on. Six, two more. Seven, one more. Okay, okay, stand up for a second. Just for one second, shake your legs. Okay, jump back in there. Now give me eight partials. Right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more. Okay, now you gotta hold it, now you gotta hold it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job, good job. Nice work. You should have pump insanity right now. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> it really starts to burn towards those like sixth or seventh reps is when it really It feels hurts. like you're doing like 30 reps. Yeah, it's like I hit the wall right there. Next to squats? Yeah. Let's go. Believe it or not, this is actually my first time ever doing squats with a safety bar. I just feel like they're just not really that available in most gym. I just did my first rep with, the, with just the bar and it felt really smooth. More or less mimics a front squat because you have the bar, the weight yeah. loaded a little bit more out in front of you. So it allows you to keep a little bit more of an upright position, I yeah, find. Yeah, a lot yeah. of quad stress. Good, basic, heavy movement. It'll just crush our quads. And I like it too, just because of the back factor. Like I just feel more comfortable with my spine doing it this way. Yeah. Instead of getting... Yeah, yeah. So what are we doing here for sets and reps? So we're gonna do sets of eight again. We're gonna keep going heavier and heavier and heavier. And then our last set's gonna be something like only six or seven reps. This isn't meant to do a death set. Okay. So it's just use heavy weight. What I want you to do is control it and then explode up. Okay. Okay, so we're just doing explosive heavy reps right here. Gotcha, all right. And we're gonna continue this too. One thing that'll help you train a little bit more explosively is when you're coming down with the bar, if you, when you're coming up, push the handles forward. Yeah. So instead of coming down like this, this. It gotcha. puts you in a little better mechanical position. You got this yeah. as opposed to this. Gotcha. Just gotcha. that little subtle change yeah. will feel better. So we've done, I think, four sets now, just kind of pyramiding up. That last one was pretty tough. And just a couple of things I noticed with this. So I don't normally use chains uh, in my training, but one thing I've really noticed with the squat is that it allows for more consistent resistance throughout the whole range of motion. Normally, the squat feels tough somewhere just in the hole, like around here. With this, it feels pretty tough the whole way through. It's more consistent, but it's also very smooth. So I don't really know how to describe it because I don't normally do them, but all I can say is that it feels like very smooth, very consistent. It's a very nice feel. And what John said was using the chains for whatever reason does engage the glutes more, and I definitely feel that. Yeah. I'm gonna sit down though. <laughs> Here we go. Come on, last set. Make a count, John. Let's go. Easy. Come on. It's crazy, you see that there, so like, it looked like the hardest part of that whole thing was like the, the top part of the last rep. You almost never see that on a normal set of squats. If you're gonna fail, it's gonna be somewhere close to the bottom of the rep, right? Yeah. So it, it's a totally different resistance path. That was awesome. My turn. What's up, guys? You gotta give me six now, come on. Uh, come on, you gotta get real tight. Get a little angry on this one. Get a little angry. Come on, real tight on the rack. Two steps. Yep, Tight. here we go. Two steps, one, two. Now push the bar up, just like I told you. Okay. Push the bar up. Now try to move hard. Uh, yeah, six, come on. Two, 
Come on. Three. Come on, stay with it. Four. Push the bar up. Push the bar up as you go up. One more time. One more time. Up. Yeah, baby. Walking in. Walking in. Good job. Good job. Yes, sir. Good job. I had to remind myself to keep the bar, or yeah. just go to three quarters too. Yeah. It's easier to obviously take that pause. Reset. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was tough. What do we got next? I'm gonna let you uh, pick. We can do a one-legged uh, Bulgarian squat in the Smith machine with our foot up on the sissy squat, or we could do the vertical leg press. It's up to you, I'm gonna let you pick it. Here. What do you wanna see? Bulgarian split squat or vertical leg press? I'm gonna go with the harder one. What's the harder one? The split, the no! split squat. <laughs> it's the split definitely, squat. it's the harder one. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's do, let's do the split squat. I think I got something over here you're gonna like then. The people wanna see the split squat. They wanna see what? The drop set of death. <laughs> drop set of death? <laughs> the split squat. All right, let's I'm see I'm kinda it. known for that. <laughs> the only thing about using like a flat bench is it doesn't roll and you can really, you can hurt your quad if you're not careful, but this, this roll, so it helps, it's helpful. Gotcha. Now we've already went real heavy. We did those heavy, heavy squats over there. And I know a lot of people like to say, y'all just go heavy on everything you do. But we've done the heavy work. We're not gonna do that on this. What we're gonna do is we're going for good controlled reps with a, like a medium weight, so. How many reps are we doing here? Let's stay at eight. Yeah. But eight on this will feel like 20 over Yeah, there. cause you got both legs, so yeah. it's really 16. Yeah. All right, let's go. Four sets, working our way up, and now we're gonna do our last set here. We've done eight reps each side. Feels a lot harder than it looks, I think. Here, you're saying to drive through your heel a lot. Yeah, drive yeah. through your heel. You know, this, for, for the girls watching this, it can be a great glute exercise, too. Um, if you want more glutes, start the lift by flexing your glutes. So that's how you initiate the movement. You can't get away from the quad pain. There's no escape, but you can, you can, if you really focus, you can hit your glutes. Let's do one more. What we're gonna do on this one is we're only gonna need to do one leg. Okay. So I'll do my left or right leg. Okay. Then you do your left or right leg, and then we'll switch. Okay. Sounds so that way, because you know how it, did you notice on the last set, the second leg kind of gets short changed. It a little felt bit. harder, yeah. I did. So yeah. now we're at the point where we just do one leg at a time. Okay, sounds good. So, All right. So we're gonna go to eight, do one hold, and then one drop set in that order. Yeah. Yeah. So what I'll do is put a quarter on. I'll do eight. I'm gonna do an eight second hold. Strip the weight off. Now I'm going to do eight, and now I'm going to do another eight second hold. Okay, here we go, John. There we go. Eight. Come on. Hey, four, four. Oh. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Oh, man. Nice. Eight reps. Six second eight, or eight second eight holds, seconds. drop the weight, another eight reps, another eight second hold. Yeah. All right. And where do you hold it? Are you holding it like kind of halfway right down? No. Okay. Keep it right here. Okay. Keep it right here. Okay. Somewhere yeah. at the top. Yeah, it'll feel like a knife one in your glute. Okay, sounds good. We're gonna finish strong. We're gonna get all of our reps. Here we go. Okay. One, two. Three, four, five, come on, six, come on, come on, seven, one more, up, okay, hold, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, all right, come on, one, two, three, Almost there, brother. Almost there, brother. Come on. Almost there. Three, two, one, uh, four, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, and done. All right, good job. That last side of coal is the worst. That's awful, isn't it? It's just awful, man. Thank you, man. That was awesome. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, Alright guys, that's a wrap on the workout. We're gonna go get some sushi, I guess, eh? Yeah. <laughs> so John is actually a big believer in post-workout nutrient timing. He was just explaining to me that when you do this style of training, it, it's, at a, it's on another level than the typical training, even the sort of like routines you tend to see in those studies. Um, so in his eyes, uh, it's important to get those, those nutrients in within you know, some reasonable yeah. window of the training. I like window. it actually intra, actually while you intra? train. Yeah. Like it, you dress everything actually while yeah. you're training. It makes a huge difference. I think it's one of those things that you, you literally, you have nothing to lose by doing it. And you have something potentially to gain, so why not do it almost? Especially if you're, you know, someone like yourself on the elite level, trying to get every a bit of progress you can, I guess. Um, that, that little extra 5% is a big difference for me. Yeah, you know? I think so. Yeah. I, I think it's more so for the people who are just like casual gym goers who think yeah, unless they do it, they're not going to get anything, which yeah, isn't true. Yeah, that's but silly. we don't need to worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to go get some food and we'll check in with you guys over at the restaurant. All right. It's time to eat. Yeah, we got to do like a series, man, like every body part. Yeah. Yeah, let me know. Okay, if you guys want to see every body part so we can do like back, chest, chest to shoulders, arms. Yeah, we'll, we'll hit everything. Just just comment below what you want to see next. We're both going to be in Toronto in June, I think. So we're going to try to hit another workout. So if you want to see back, comment back and then upvote the comments that say the body part you want to see. Be creative. Like we'll, we'll train our freaking tibialis anterior if you want to, if you want to see that. That's, right. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's funny. Kiwi dog. I like it. Yep. That's the new nickname. You know Kiwi what, dog. man? I used to always talk about kiwi like seven or eight years ago. I used to tell people about the vitamin C and how it was underrated. And really? Yeah. That's crazy. I yeah. did not know that. Yeah. Did, did we just become best friends? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go, guys. We've got California roll here. I've got some salmon nigiri, some shrimp tempura, spicy tuna. And this is the specialty roll. What's this one That's called? That's the pink lady roll. The pink, pink lady roll. So I think we've got some crab, shrimp tempura maybe, uh, spicy salmon in there yeah, too. Yeah. Uh, and then it looks like some spicy mayo on top. Looks delicious, so we're gonna dig right in. All right. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, I've got a table. So guys, we're gonna, we're gonna have a quick round of poker with John and his kids and his wife, so. What are the stakes here? What are we, what are we playing for? Well, I like to think of myself as the best poker playing bodybuilder, so Jeff has a an opportunity to can, take that I title take away that from me. Yeah. What do you have to say about that? Oh, it's about to go down. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do this like this. So we've got a two, right? Mm -hmm. Two of clubs. Okay. I'm gonna get you to make a thumb like that and go like that. Okay. So you're gonna hold the two of clubs right there. What card did I just give you? Two of clubs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Put it back down. So we got the five right here. We're gonna take the five and put it right on top there. Make sure you hold it down. Let your thumb up a little bit, just a little bit. Hold it down like that. So I'm gonna take, give me the two, you hold the five. I'm just gonna go like this right here, okay? Hold it, hold it down. So what, what card do you have right here? Is it, don't look, what is it? Uh, two or the five? Mm -hmm. Do you remember? You can help him out. Two. Two? Okay, I'm gonna put the five right back in here. So you got the two here, the five here, right? Were you guys be impressed if the five was now here and the two was now here? That'd be cool if they switched. I I saw it. Turn them over. I saw it. What you got? It's ish. Wow. <laughs> nice. That was good. That's my best trick. People are always slow. people in the comments will know. They're I tried to do a trick on the channel before and they were like, "Bro, that was weak. <laughs> That's the worst trick I've ever seen." What you gonna do, Jonathan? You staying in or? How many? Ten. All right, here's the river, boys. What do you think of uh, Jeff Nippard's YouTube channel? Oh, okay. <laughs> Who is it? Jeff Nippard. Hmm? <laughs> He's kind of like Jake Paul, but like a little bit smarter. The ones you guys Jake Paul once, he lit his pool on fire and for feel he was throwing the furniture in there. Oh my. Oh yeah, Jeff has done that. I'm dealer. Yeah. Uh, you guys can put in your blinds, but I'm going all in. And he's going all in. I haven't even looked. This yeah. is a blind all in. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing. We're all in? Yeah. I'm all in too. Clubs, seven, clubs, seven. clubs. Oh. Boom. Give me a oh. 10. 
Ten or clubs? Seven. Clubs. Okay, one more seven. Two more clubs. <laughs> oh, ouch for me. One more seven. I need a ten. Time. Ooh, I need a ten. I need a Come ten. Come on, diamond, 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 diamond. Yeah! No! Oh, my God. 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 The best Still, body bang, <laughs> bodybuilding poker player. <laughs> you heard it. I'm the best kid poker player. <laughs> oh yeah, no, you're good, man. For real. Yeah, that was impressive. You smoked me. <laughs> That's not bad. That was fun. All right, guys, so we just finished up playing a few rounds of poker at John's house. Um, I just want to give a huge shout out to John. Thank him for taking me through that workout. That was the best leg workout I've had in forever. Um, he really opened my eyes to a lot of new stuff. Um, so I hope that you guys really keep an open mind as well. Um, if you haven't yet checked out my interview with John, I'll link that up here somewhere in the cards over my head. Make sure you go over and check out his channel and subscribe. And if you do, let him know that you came from me. Uh, that would mean a lot. Um, again, if you want to see another video with John and I in Toronto, let me know what body part you want to see us train, and we absolutely will do it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys in the next video.